Tim is a healthy adult who represents no danger to himself or anyone else. And I believe he should be discharged. Hey, little brother. I found it. What do you mean? We only have a few days. A few days for what? To keep our promise and kill it. My name is Kaylee Ann Russell. The purpose of today's experiment is to prove that the object behind me is responsible for at least 45 deaths in the four centuries of its recorded existence. Damn, Martin, I done seen everything now. I done seen a house kill people. I seen killer dolls. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but now we got mirrors. Mirrors, yeah. Mirrors. Yep, yep. You talking about they just ran out of shit. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I done seen all kind of inanimate, inanimate <laughs> objects. Stephen King made a whole movie about it. Trucks and shit came to life. Cars. Before fucking uh, uh, vending machines killed people. But now it's just a big piece of glass. Just a big old piece of glass. <laughs> and y'all probably saying, what the fuck can a mirror do? It'll fuck your mind up. It'll fuck you. I mean, this, I, I tell you, I wasn't even scared in this movie. I spent this movie mad at this mirror. Because <laughs> the mirror just fucking with people. People. I, I don't know, man. I... I, I couldn't blame the mirror too much. Oh, uh, you know what? See, that's why I want to bring my man over here in with us to review this. Mikhail, how you doing? What up? How you doing, man? Mikhail, M- the- M- Mikhail are we pronouncing that correctly? Macau. 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 Oh, it's like smog and smog. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like we've been smog and now it's smog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, God damn, now it's three syllables. I know. All of a sudden, you got to be Bill Cosby to say, smog. You know, but. Oh, Ma- Ma- Macau. Macau, how you doing? Man? So, I'm glad you're in here, Macau. I brought Macau to the movie with this. Uh, just forgive me, man. I'm just going to fuck your name up the whole thing, okay? It's all good. All right, I'm gonna, so I brought Mikhail in here to do the review with us because I think we're going to have a different opinion between you and yourself, Martin, and, and Mikhail over here. Oh, okay. And, I, and I'm Corey, people. For fucking, y'all, 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 everybody's like, yeah, God damn it, we know. <laughs> Shit, shut up. So, you know what, man? Who else you going to be? Yeah, exactly. I can sum up this movie real quick for people, real quick. We got this, we got this, this girl. Her name is Kaylee, and Kaylee's family was murdered. Her, her, her mother and father were murdered. Father killed the mother, and then the son turned around and killed the father. Her brother, Tim, Tim Russell. She's Kaylee Russell. And now, years later, 11 years later, she's a grown woman, got a nice job, got a nice fiance, handsome guy, but she can't stop fucking thinking about that mirror right. that was the cause of the whole thing. So she says, you know what? I'm out to prove to people. That first of all, my brother ain't crazy, right? And second of all, he's been in insane asylum this yeah, whole time. He, yeah, he's he, been he got in, convicted of killing his father. He's in insane asylum. Yeah, and it's his day out. His and, first and, day and out. His first day. Out. Day. And his therapist yeah. is telling him, "Look, forget about what happened. I'm gonna get you out of here. Just stay away from your crazy fucking sister." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, he, the doctor said, "Look, you got help. Yeah, yeah. that you, bitch you, been running you, free you, all these years. <laughs> you all right? Just, just, just focus on your sobriety. Yeah." Don't I like how, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I like the way he tried to delicately word it, not to say it straight up. Like your sister's fucking nuts. Yeah, he was. He was, <laughs> she was tiptoeing. Like just anything you think might uh, trigger you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yeah, he was clinical about that yeah. shit. But the moment he gets out the nut house, who pulls up? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get that goddamn mirror. <laughs> hey, you, you remember what you promised? That's yeah. the first thing you out of her mouth, too. You, you mean yep. when I was 10 years old? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Motherfucker. No out small the, talk, no chit chat. <laughs> yeah. Out the nut house and takes his ass to the house. To, not to her house. No. Meet, not me, to, meet me at the house where you live. No, no. To the crazy, I mean, to our old house. <laughs> to, to the house. You remember the house, the house right? Like, Where the oh, shit went down. Man. Yeah, and they get there. She got a whole Rube Goldberg machine set up. <laughs> and right over there in the corner, ha, 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 that mirror. <laughs> and, me, and keep in mind, people, to add on to this, this is what I'm talking about. White people shit. Now, it, this, this, is, this is very much a, a white people yeah. shit movie. People, to, to show you that we're not being racist, that we're not being, that we're not going for a cheap joke, we bought in our honorary white person right here, Jeff Finley. Jeff, come here real quick. <laughs> he saw the movie with us, and Jeff, you turned to me before I said anything to, tonight about white people at all. What did you turn to me and say? No, I, I, I readily admit this is the classic Eddie Murphy, you know, white people are stupid. They hear something bad go down. To, and what are they, you know, it's not the classic, hey, let's, let's, let's leave. Let's do something. No, no, no. They're like, well, you know, why don't we, why don't we do that again? Or, yeah, you know, it, it's just completely, kind of, it, it, it's ridiculous. So, you know, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, yeah, everybody. Yeah. 
Yeah. You, you like my impression of a white guy? <laughs> People like, how we know that's a white guy? Spot on. <laughs> that's very good, Mikael. <laughs> no, man. <clears throat> shit, that's what I'm saying. This, see, here's the deal. As I told you, this girl, she, she's got a job. She's, her life is good. She's about to get married. Yeah, to, to some guy who looks like he, he was going to be the third in line to play Superman. He sure did, didn't he? Clark, yeah. Clark Kent looking dude. Nice yeah. suit and shit. Yeah. And they should be celebrating her, her, her brother getting out the nut house. But see, this is what white people do. The mirror ain't even fucking with them. If that's true. The mirror ain't. Yeah. The mirror's about to be sold to somebody. Yeah. It's going to be somebody else's problem. Yeah. It but was she, a- she dedicated her life to become involved in the auction world just so she could track this shit just down. Just so she could get back at that mirror. Mirror <laughs> said, you know, mirror said, look. In fact, the movie opened up the mirror said, see? I ain't even fucking with nobody. Right. See? <laughs> the, the, the mirror's all, hey, don't start, none won't be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mary even said, look, I changed. Yeah. <laughs> I let bitches just look at me and put the makeup on, but this bitch won't let it go. <laughs> so I'm done with killing people, but this yeah. bitch going to get it yeah. coming right here. And I, so now I'm talking shit about this, but I want people to know that I actually enjoyed the movie. I don't really have a tolerance for horror these days, but I like this. Because this is not a straight up horror movie. No, this girl put this mirror on trial. <laughs> this shit is a courtroom drama yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Miguel? Yeah. I mean, it gets to a point where she's sitting up here and because she's trying to prove that the mirror is guilty. Meanwhile, her brother, she, her brother the whole time saying, look, I just got out the fucking crazy house. Well, that's the thing. The brother is so much like, look, the mirror is guilty. It's not guilty. I kind of don't care. I'm only yeah. here because you guilted me into being here. <laughs> yeah. And we let, don't need to be let, here. Let, He's trying to get her to leave. Like, yeah, we let's, shouldn't let's even leave. do this shit. And, but yeah, her, yeah, she's putting the mirror on trial. And, and like what I didn't get was the whole like, okay, I've set up this Rube Goldberg machine that will destroy the mirror. Okay, I got clocks to that, that'll, that'll keep us up. I got food. We're going to camp out. We got, we, got, we got lanterns all around. We're going to go inside the mirror. <laughs> and, then, and honestly, I have like a psychic break with these characters at that point. I mean, not that you really get to know them that well. This, like with a lot of these, these, these movies, I've seen them so many times, there's no real character development. I mean, it's one of the reasons that I like Sinister, because it's like, wow, I actually got to know these people well, and care what happens. I think but, for the kids, there, there, was, uh, there, there was some development. I liked, I liked the kids more than the grown-ups, but I kind of liked all of them. I, you I, know what? I, and I, 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 I just really, like that whole thing, I'm like, okay, look, you got the machine. Can we yeah. destroy this shit and go on home? But, uh, you see, I, 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 I hear what you're saying. Because in the, in the grown kids are played by Karen Gillian. Gillian, she was on Doctor Who. Uh, being that I oh, watched that's Doctor why Who. everybody was going nuts over In other okay. words, I don't know who she is. Right, right, right. I, right, I know right. she's fine. Her, her from Doctor Who and uh, Katie Sackhoff from Battlestar Galactica. So the nerds have jizzed all over this mirror before this movie. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Because I looked at this girl, she's a redhead. I said, "Shit, I think I, I think I saw her in a Wendy's commercial." I don't, I don't know who she is. And the brother is is is, is played by Brenton Thwait, the waiters, the waiters. I, you you'll hear about them later on. Yeah. And I think that they I think they're good. And you know, the brother is telling her the whole time. She's like, "I like the way she's saying we gonna go, we gonna go deep with this. We, we, we going, going inside the mirror." He's like, "Do I look like Alice to you?" Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I got, got clocks set shit. up that'll wake us up every hour. And if the mirror plays yeah. gets gets too weird. This machine's gonna come down and smash it. Which yeah, I'm like, look, if you if you got an Acme credit card, let's just go ahead and do something else. <laughs> but I, I agree with you. I like now if anybody's gonna be annoyed with anybody, uh, Mikhail, I think if, if I'm judging from what you're saying, it's probably gonna be the the, the adult version of the kids because yeah. I think everybody else was actually pretty good. You mentioned I'm looking at the names right here: Katie Sackoff from Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. And man, she looked too good to be having kids. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about it. She's, she's kind of fine when it. I she had gr- like, 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 th- th- pretty much 13 year old kids and shit. I'm like, no, nah, this, this your husband must have got you pregnant in high school. Yeah, maybe so. And her husband is played by Rory, uh, Rory Cochran. Cochran yeah. yeah, and I like them because these are parents who are slowly going off the deep end, and I think they embrace that dark side of it. And the young kids are Annalise Basso and Garrett Ryan, who. They were like real kids to me because yeah, the sister they, trying to be heroic and the yeah. brother like, I ain't fucking with that mirror. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. What are you going to say? Uh, I was going to say it's the, the younger versions of them, they are still reflecting themselves grown up. So I yeah. liked how they weren't, you know, just all of a sudden having different mannerisms or, you know, just totally different. It, it's showing you from their childhood how they're going to behave 
in the adult situation. You know what? You have a good point there because, because she was yeah. so headstrong. Yeah, and she was headstrong as a little girl too. Yeah, she was the dominant one, and yeah. the brother was well. He was the pussy. So <laughs> he's always counting yeah. oh, with, oh, with oh, good oh. reason. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the normal reaction. Yeah. <laughs> well, Martin. Okay, let me go ahead and get more from you because I don't think you care for this too much. No, I I, I didn't. I mean, I didn't hate it, but at the same time. It's it's one of the reasons where and why, why I don't get excited when I see horror movies because it, mm-hmm. it hits a lot of those same beats. It sets this thing up mm-hmm. where you know so much of it is our, our our white guy friend here Jeff. He said it perfectly. He said like I felt like so much of the movie was me just sitting there waiting to get kicked in the nuts. <laughs> and and it, there's a lot of it. Yeah, there's a lot of it that's just it's all atmosphere and and yeah. and, and, and tightening violins and bring up tension. Just to have a jump scare or a fake out. Now, some of the fake outs are pretty good. Like that one with the light bulb and the apple, that's in the commercials. It's, it's too bad it's in the commercials because I saw it before it happened. I was like, damn, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh. But it's just to kind of set those things up. Some of them good, some of them not. But I'm like, I, I, I get tired of being fucked with. Mm. Where, like, you know, like, man, I would love if there were more, if there was more <laughs> dialogue or character here. Stop yeah. fucking with me, movies. <laughs> but, 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 you know, like, like, there's just like, when when the characters do things that that aren't on the path of self preservation, it makes me lose a little bit more of them. So when stuff happens to them, I'm like, I don't I don't care. Can we just get to the end of this? Okay, Mikhail, I want you to rebuttal this, but I will before we get to that because I'm probably not going to agree with you as much. Sure, I, <laughs> I, I I I will survive. And as two <laughs> black people, who, we should agree on how hard <laughs> movies go. And I do agree with you to an extent because they still. Have the signs. If, if, a, if a horror movie just started out and didn't have the signs of fucking leave, yeah. I mean, there's a point where okay, the first sign, animals, dog just barking. <laughs> I mean, dog just <laughs> roof, roof, roof. The dog stopped barking. Roof. Look, look, that mirror is fucking evil, man. Don't bring that shit in the house. <laughs> Don't put me next to this yeah, mirror. Shit, roof, 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 stop it. <laughs> well, well, it's like, well, look, look. You see, you bring this mirror in here, and all the plants around die. Mm-hmm. It's like. Then I think you're supposed to get rid of it. Yeah, I mean it, it's pretty clear. Even if it ain't haunted, it's got radiation it's, problems. It's got something going on. Yeah, they pu- they pulled that shit from some nuclear test site or something. But, but the other thing is that there's a part in this movie where, where where pops is walking down the hallway. It ain't a shadow in the corner. It ain't like you know a, a mist or something. It's a bitch with glowing eyes and pale skin staring at his ass. Somebody. And he just keeps wanting like, wow, you know, that's strange, man. And you know, okay, <laughs> my, my thing about that, the bitch with the glowing eyes and the other people who've been previously killed and all, it, to me, it was kind of stacking the deck. Like, just watching a family disintegrate, that, that's creepy enough in itself. But bringing in these literal, you know, ghosts or whatever they are, that's like, yeah, okay, okay, that's, 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 that's more than enough for me to get the point. Okay. Yeah, they, were, they, were too, they weren't necessary. They, they made it like because, a haunted house. And they did nothing. Like they were just there, yeah. to be creepy with reflective eyes, yeah. <laughs> with, with riddick eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just they only showed up towards the end, not to spoil too much. So it's what you guys here for? All right, thanks. Yeah, they 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 they, they, they just, just just to mock you, like, yeah. like a bunch of player haters. Like, <laughs> 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 Look, your, your daddy is a drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the mirror. Plus, but, I mean, the whole thing with you know the the dad who kind of goes insane and becomes mean. I'm like. Uh, shining. Is done. Yeah, yeah, shining, uh, Amityville horror. Yeah, it's like, man, guys, come on, something new. That's what I was going to say, man. I was going to say that I, I I enjoyed most of this movie because what I enjoyed about it is that it did take a different approach where it was more psychological. At the whole movie's playing, and Mikael, you and I were talking about this. The whole movie's playing with flashbacks and it into cuts in a very clever way. I think. And, I think and, the yes, editing was yes, done very well. Some, very some of that is good. Some of that is good. I, I, yeah. And so, you know, you see a lot of movies that jump cut and got to the point where shit is, I was thinking shit, the mirror playing with my fucking mind because I, I can't really tell whether the, any of this is real or not. And that's what I like about it. You throw the element in of, of one guy who was insane, who just got out of the crazy house. Is he still maybe kind of mm-hmm. crazy or is this mirror, what's, what it's doing, is it real? And I kind of like that approach. I agree with you both. Where the movie took a downfall is where they started getting into that routine horror movie shit. Yeah. You know, ghosts just getting together. Just It ain't doing shit. God, in most movies, ghosts just get together <laughs> yeah. just to look at you. Yeah. yeah. You know, just stare you. Just mean muggy, you know? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's like, you know, people shouldn't be scared. Somebody just went, what? What y'all want? <laughs> but there is one shot near the end that I thought was kind of creepy. And uh-huh. I can't say what it is, but there was one shot that, like, that kind of scared. I don't want to say scared me, but just kind of just, it was a little eerie. 
I mean, it, it could pull that off every so often. Like I said, I don't want to sit here and act like, man, I just hate this movie. It was some bullshit. It, it wasn't. It, it was doing some things right here and there. But my overall feeling was I, I recognize the things that are working. And if you're into horror movies, hey, this might be cool. Especially there's a lot of people who are really riding Jason Blum's dick. And they love all the movies. Is this the Jason Blum yeah, production? Yeah, another Blum, Blum House. Yeah, Blum House. Okay. And to me, they all kind of have this, that, this, this. They hit the same notes. So where I, it just it, you it just got me. Blum right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had been because the movie was stalled a little bit in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's times where yeah. it's just like, okay, something happened. Please, that I'll was one of the, yeah. that was one of the biggest problems I had with it. Is there there are stretches that are just let's let's go, man. Let's get on with this. But for me, I like the movie enough to where by the time everything played out, I said. I'm going to give it to you. You know, you had to make it feature length. This thing could have been 45 minutes if it wanted to. Yeah. In fact, it is based on the director, Mike Flanagan. He did have a short version of this. I just read this just now, so I don't know anything about it, but I don't know if this was a... Yeah, this could have... I don't know if this was a continuation of the short or what, but he, you know... You definitely could have caught this on Tales from the Crypt. (laughs) Man, you're so right. And and maybe that's my thing. It's like, yeah, it could have... As a Tales uh, from the Crypt... Yeah. Could have been cool. I'd been like, man, did you see that shit last yeah. night? Yeah. <laughs> Stretched out to an hour and a half. I'm like, yeah, it was cool for a while. Yeah, because it, the movie does have cliched horror type tropes in it. But the general conceit of the movie, the premise of it is very interesting. Like with the psychological, you've got th- this guy. He just got out the nut house and he's the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, how reliable is this? Well, he's the voice know? of reason because yeah. his ass don't want to go back. Like and I said, shit, can we at least get a yeah. beer before you start this crazy and shit? And then by the time the entire movie plays out, you don't know who's in their right mind anymore. That's they the all thing. could be nuts. Yeah. Yeah. The well, mirror might be the person <laughs> by the end of this shit. <laughs> That's how twisted you get. The mirror might be the daddy by the yeah. end of the yeah. <laughs> I'm your father. <laughs> I, I tried you, to man. help y'all. <laughs> See, y'all didn't listen to me. Y'all crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> I didn't want to be in the house when y'all yeah. were doing this shit. <laughs> but yeah, I, maybe I liked it a little bit more because I saw that WWE at the beginning. <laughs> I thought that mirror was going to be wrestling people. <laughs> and then, you know, giving an interview. It almost was. When you, look, when you look in the mirror, you'll see me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm married out there wrestling people yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be a revenge film. You know? <laughs> they gave me a crack and I want it back. <laughs> you but ever man- been DDT'd by a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> but, man, I, I, I tell you, I there's more about this movie that I liked than I didn't. That part that I'm talking about could have been rushed a little more. Uh, it could have been shortened a little bit in the middle. But I like their approach. I, I'm cool with this film. I, I would recommend... Not enough for full price, but I would recommend people see this for a matinee. No, uh, I, for, for me, it's more of like a, a something I, I'd rent or, or red box. Uh, I mean, you know, having it's so much of it, it's, it's like, like as cool as it is and, and does, does all these great tricks. Yeah. It was ultimately predictable. Like there's something that's just set up, but it's like, yeah, I kind of know where that's going. And so okay. the, it's kind of like... All right, well, that was kind of flat to me. Uh, I'm, I'm, pro- I'm only going to remember this movie because the title will make me think of those Oculus Rift glasses. <laughs> We're but- talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe they'll make a, make, make a 3D virtual adventure of Wait it. Wait a minute. So you know what the Oculus Rift is? Yeah. All right, strike that question out the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah hey man i like i said i'm not a horror movie guy so for me this 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 did not go beyond the pale it did not so you gotta be fair man it's just because you're just not a horror movie guy or do you really think that this movie is that sorry i'm not a horror movie fanboy how about that what does that mean? Much like you, you know, you know what that means. Don't look at me and I'm say that at, shit. I'm directly at you. You know, I ain't no horror movie yes, fanboy. Man, you, that's what's funny about you is that you were so in denial about that. Like, <laughs> like you love to throw the fanboy tag out at other people, but whenever it's thrown at you appropriately, you always try to sidestep. Man, it. I ain't got now nah, a hockey mask. I ain't got a machete. Man, you, 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 you ain't got you, a shirt with those, blood you on. You had those fetishes. And those, those certain things like, hey man, this is this is what horror movies are supposed to do. You know, these are the, these are the tropes because this is what goes in there. And yeah, you gotta give that a pass because that's the thing that that, that horror movies are made. And if of. you understood that, maybe that's why you like this movie a little bit better. You want to call me on some shit? All right, you got me. God damn it, you the anti horror movie shit. This movie wasn't made for you. This movie wasn't made for you. Let's talk about the audience it was made for. Well, 
Uh, shit. Well, <laughs> it's probably <laughs> like <a> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's probably uh, you know the the trailers. It gives you a different vibe from what this movie is trying to do. So I get a sense that people might go into this f- expecting more of a straight up horror, jump scare, creepy ghosts everywhere type of thing. It's more it's where it shines is on its psychological side. Yeah. Where it shines is where it's showing you how these two are getting fucked with. And the the neat idea they had with the flashbacks to present day type stuff is r- they have really great ideas here. It's just that the horror side is kind of yeah, it's mediocre. That ain't the shit you were talking in the parking oh, lot. Oh, what's that? No, hell no, 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 no. No, let the man speak. He was, don't, don't, don't you Okay, tell me what him. I said. He don't, might, don't, don't fill a he might, he might caught me in a lie. Go ahead, go. <laughs> I ain't kidding. Go ain't ahead. no lie. I don't know why you're trying to, why hey, you trying to put me on the spot like this? Hey, you were so excited getting what? the car. No, I liked no. It. I liked it. Why, I did why like it. trying to bully him and then agreeing with you? I'm saying this. I liked it enough to where, you know, I still think it's a great movie. For just on the premise alone, for the ideas that it's trying. to Why are you kissing his ass? But, then? but it's ultimately mediocre, is what he's saying. See, no, I'm not saying the movie's ultimately <laughs> mediocre. I'm saying the little gags and the scares that they use. You've seen them before. Oh, okay. Bro, That's they, what I'm saying. So it's played. The 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 horror stuff, the scary like <laughs> oh shit type stuff. <laughs> Bullet man, look at you, old, <laughs> but you, you old crooked ass lawyer, hey, man. man. You know what? I'm just translating what the no, man is it saying. It has some good mind fuckery in it though, like especially the first big. <laughs> <laughs> the first. big... <laughs> Can I finish? Can I finish? <laughs> Can I finish? I'm oh, sorry. Like, yeah. That was funny. Some fine yeah. fuckery. No, the the very first time, because you know she's got that whole setup, like here in the in the command station, double toasted man. She's got cameras set up. She's got a little speech, like laying down the law on this fucking mirror. So, you know, it's like, how's this mirror gonna get away with what it's doing? In the in the very beginning, they get into an argument, and then what happens after that? It was great. It was great, and they kept do- and they kept on bringing more and more mind. Like, oh shit, I was outside. Wait, I'm inside. Kill. It's, it's funny. It takes five minutes to realize her plans don't mean shit. I know. Yeah. You know what? I yeah. thought some real. I, mean, I thought. Not talking about a wrestling match. I thought they were. I thought they were gonna really fight. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a cat fight between her and that mirror. And that mirror is going. Please, yeah. <laughs> please. I mean, because when she got yeah. that mirror, she took that drape off of it. It's like, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> it's on now. You mean she was talking mad shit uh-huh. to that mirror? Uh-huh. She was yeah. talking she, shit. She was she talking was shit. Talking shit. To she that was at that crack down yeah. there, and you no, know, the mirror was like, look, yep. I don't want nothing. Yep. I don't want nothing. And she had to look at that crack down there. You remember? That? She said, yep. yeah, bitch, I hope it hurt too. And he's like, yeah, yeah. all right, bitch, all right. it's on yeah, now. Okay. See, all right, yeah, See, I, got I got you. I got you. Hello again. You must be hungry. I hope this still hurts. What would you <laughs> do with full price mad name? You know, you know what? I would I would probably say I'd probably say rent this. Oh, <laughs> Well, well, little masters. You know, son, don't forget who put that goddamn mic in your but, hand right now. But man, Spen- this is some bullshit, but, man. But Spencer, you, no, you, you can still, you can still like a movie. <laughs> Damn, I mean, this is some, this is some tales from the crib shit right here. You put that twist ending on my ass, man. God damn. I'm kind of, I'm kind of divided because just for the ideas that they're presenting alone. <laughs> I, if you're like me, but that's the thing I can't say. If you're like me, I'd pay full price because people don't know me. Benedict if you like, if you prefer psychological man, you know? type stuff over the horse, st- why are you still can back I finish, track, man? <laughs> you something else, brother. You know, I gave you a ride to the movie and everything. Wow, man. Go ahead, finish. Finish your little shit, man. Go ahead. I'm trying to oh, put more of an objective rating on it. For me. It's a full price. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would, and I appreciated the unique elements and the conceit of the premise. But I think for what they're what they're showing you in the trailers, if you think that's what this movie is going to be, you're going to be let down. You're not going to like it as much. Like me. What, 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 what's up, Jeff? 
Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm the token white guy, but but you know, I, I just to balance out. I mean, I, I'd say if you're into horror, low, full price. I mean, definitely Dr. Freud was in the house. It had the whole you know repetition, Freudian repetition. People trying to you know redo their past, and it you know shit turns out bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like it's like a Pepsi <coughs> machine. You know, you want a Coke, don't go to a Pepsi machine. You know, and uh, <laughs> you're not gonna get a Coke. You know, it's not gonna happen. So you know, in that sense, I liked it. You know, um, the whole thing with the the family and the kids. I mean, it just sucks seeing kids get mistreated. You know, or being a bad situation so that was a little depressing for me but because you're a father it, yeah exactly you know so i mean I, I definitely empathized a lot with the kids and it made me like the adult characters more kind of empathize with them more def- despite the fact that the older sister was being kind of kind of her idea was a little crazy to begin with you know to say the least but uh you know i, I, I definitely had goosebumps i thought the boost scares were pretty good you know i thought it definitely had a good creepy tone so if you're into horror low full price if you're not it's just going to be literally like waiting to get kicked in the nuts just like you said you <laughs> okay know, very selective. Right. so so jeff has compared it to an episode of goosebumps <laughs> <laughs> you see you, you see brothers are supposed to be looking out for each other but i had turned to white man for help you see that? <laughs> Some crabs I, in a bucket feel, type shit, right? I feel weird because hey, I man. agree with bo- I agree with what both of you guys are saying, and I I really like it a lot. But at the same time, there were parts where I was sitting there, and I just kind of felt like okay, you guys can move along. But I just I give so much props for when these days there's movies that are so just generic and trite, and you just like we're an action movie, so guess what. You're gonna see some fuckers get kicked and shit. With this one, you're seeing the mind fuck element of it is just really well done, and the whole flashback thing. When I see something fresh, it really, you know, okay, it did well for me. I got you. So between full price and rental, you you gave it a matinee. Thank you. So let's go. <laughs> so now you know what I got some. I got some trivia here. All right, what you got? This is this is actually a question. I mean, this is actually trivia, Martin. But I'm gonna. Put it out there in the form of a question. All right. I'm not going to hold it against you if you get it wrong. One of the trickiest things about making a movie about a mirror, as far as the production goes, is what? Not breaking it. That's a good one. That's not the answer I was looking oh, for. Oh, keeping it shined? or, or Oh, not, not, not reflecting the camera crew. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, they had this movie had a hard time having to get around <laughs> tricky angles because that mirror was just, not only was it fucking up this family's mind, but it was <laughs> fucking up the production crew. Yeah, that, that, that mirror had control over reality. So it must have been real hard. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, I and here's some small thing right here. I don't have much trivia about it because we just saw this tonight, but you see a lot of movies being filmed. In a lot of places. Hollywood. When it's not in Hollywood, they go to Louisiana. Right. They go to Canada. Yeah. They go to New York. Sometimes they even come to Austin. There was a time when they come to Austin a lot. Well. Yeah, until we got Governor Fuckhead Perry. Yeah. Hey, Hollywood ain't Christian. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Well, they still not coming to Austin. They're going to Alabama now. Just look at, oh, overlook at us, man. They shot, they shot this in Alabama. Why? Okay. I don't know. Man, they got good mirrors over there. So yeah, there's a lot of people that believe in ghosts. <laughs> I like to wear white sheets and dress up like ghosts. <laughs> ooh, Negro, ooh, run. All right. Jeff does that on the weekends, don't you, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> bah, bah. All right. I have a question. All right. And I'm going to go I'm going to go around the room and and the first person that I'm going to keep asking this question until somebody gets it right. <laughs> Unless you get it right first. Martin. Okay. Okay. This movie's called Oculus. Yes. As you heard we or as you said earlier, they got the Oculus Rift out there. Yeah. Virtual reality technology. Oculus is a powerful word right now. Latin. Okay, you be quiet. Don't say nothing. <laughs> I want him to answer. Okay. Since you <laughs> so, so no loud, smug and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is an Oculus? Oh, uh, it is a device for seeing. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Don't know every goddamn thing, do you? Wrong. Jeff, you're a scientist. Do you know what an Oculus is? An Oculus. Okay, you don't know. All right, thank you. (laughs) I believe the Oculus is a part of the eye. I don't know. Like, if you were to break apart the eye into different subsystems. Now, the thing the Oculus is... It's it's an eight legged. <laughs> no, God damn it, you smart ass motherfucker! <laughs> Tell me where you saw eight of anything in this goddamn movie. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> well, the mirror has seven stunt doubles. <laughs> it's a reflection. No, all y'all are wrong. Well, at least from my definition, I looked it up. It's in several places. An Oculus is a circular opening in the center of a dome or a wall 
So I can see why you're confused. Why the fuck they call this movie Oculus? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Why they call it the Oculus Rift? I don't, the Oculus Rift? I don't know. Because it sounds cool. Cause yeah, it sounds, cause cool. sounds there you go. It sounds as if it's related to ocular. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So in a way, all of you are kind of right. Latin roots, vision, and ain't got a goddamn thing to do with eight of anything no more. <laughs> hey, I said it's something to do with the I would seeing things. All right. Martin, I'll give this one you should be able to get right here. All right. Name an iconic movie that Rory Cochran was in. Ooh, damn. It was he was that was one of Oh, uh Days and Confused. Yes, yeah. there you go. Oh you shit, go. that was him. That yeah. was him. Ah, yeah, that yeah. was him. Old. All right, there you go. Okay, nice. Then. Well, and by the way, before we end, this a message that you can take from this movie. Let, I was telling Martin this after the movie was done. Let don't let your wife buy furniture for the fucking house. A <laughs> husband, Roy Cocker in the movie, telling his wife, he's like, I was okay with some IKEA shit. You had to go and get antiques. Wasn't that 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 other movie uh, that Sam Raimi produced that came out a couple years ago? Drag me to hell. No, drag no, me no, to no, hell. no, no, no. Drag me to hell. It was after that. And who was the lead? And was it Liv, Liv Schreiber? I can't. Damn. Now, I know somebody I'm, out there. Somebody oh, out there it, knows what I'm talking that, about. You're talking about uh, Children of Men, homeboy. Clive Owen, and he's got the daughter. Yeah, he's got the daughter, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's more habitical or oh, Jewish yeah, yeah, related. Yeah, 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 because yeah. they had that, they had that, that, that tall, lanky, uh, Hasidic Jewish guy who was, who was like really a rapper. Matis okay, so what, what are we, where, yeah. we, where are we going here? <laughs> um, Damn it, this mirror. You're just, saying that box reminded just, you, because oh, he bought, cause cause, he cause bought the, the box. wife bought the furniture, yeah. and that's how, it, that's how it all got started. <laughs> God damn, we went a long way for this. <laughs> well, hey, where you going, Jeff? Jeff got bored. He's like, what the <laughs> yeah, Jeff's like, I'm out. <laughs> Jeff, you can't wait for this last two minutes before you. Yeah, I mean, we're here talking, and Jeff was like, Martin, but he was like, damn, Martin's boring me to death. <laughs> 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 Talking about Hasidic all right. Jews. All right, all right, everybody. Mar- uh, Jeff, just hold on a second. We'll let you go. People, that is our review. That is our trivia. That is our quiz. And if you'd like to reach us, Martin, they can reach me. There's two ways to reach us, possibly three or four. Okay. But you can, re- you can reach me at kcoolmans, K-C-O-O-L-M-A-N-Z, at gmail.com. You can reach me on the Twitters at kcoolman and find me on Facebook. Martin. Look for Martin Thomas also on Facebook or if you're on the Twitters, mm-hmm. there's Martin underscore no fro. All right. Find me. Talk M- to me. Mikael. Um, I was brought to you this week by Windex. Okay, thank you. Anyway, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, you got to go. <laughs> you might want to clarify that you're actually a regular. Okay, you know, Okay, and people, before we leave, Jeff is not part of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> thank you, thank you for clarifying. But he will be lynching us after this review. <laughs> but, but, but you see him kind of trying to sneak out of here to get to one of his meetings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, he absolutely he just l- he just has a ghost fetish. <laughs> <laughs> all. all right, everybody, we are out. Thank you. Bye bye. Devil, he is me.